as you uh, open the door, you hear um, several footsteps going up to the left side. Uh-huh. Um, not coming towards you, but away. You hear that there are stairs to the left. But what you see before you, as you've went down, it seems to be like a storage room for drinks and food and stuff like that. The help kind of help run the bar up there to be additional storage. This door, as you open it, you see that there are several boxes, piles of bags and sacks and stuff. It's like a kind of warehouse storage area, and it seems to be empty. Seems no one's working here right now. Hello? What you do start to hear, though, over to the right, you notice that this square room um, stairs leading off to the left, but to the right, you notice that the wall has, is crumbled together leading to a pathway and you can kind of see a semblance of a cave uh, out to it. You, you notice that there are footsteps that go back and forth through it. Obviously people are tracking in dirt on the ground. There's As a, we're go ahead, entering, go ahead. oh sorry, sorry, no, 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 you go ahead. No, you I was go gonna ahead. say like for a light source just to have it, there's a, just a suspended kind of like brazier type apparatus on the ceiling i need to do that i have to do some of these details for podcasts folks my bad yeah. right right no of course of course as we're opening the door and entering the room the beetle is still fucking on topic he hasn't left it he's still pestering he's like what if i ask my mom about what she thinks about whether we should warn croc or not we could get her, her input i think that you could tell him the thing as long as maybe you get something out of it instead of him just losing it could be a trade something like you tell him that and uh you can ask about vena's friend the blacksmith that's a good idea yeah or something like that's that. true we do need that information that's right I, he wants her friend yeah, yeah. the exchange of goods in knowledge is good business it's yeah, kind right. of the attitude you need to approach it with. Yeah, Not see, I'm learning from you guys. You're so Giving smart. things away freely. Okay, you're right. So you'd be okay with me sharing it in exchange for that? Yes. Okay. Because at the end of the day, she still needs her friend freed. Yeah. Bree's and gonna... we'd, we'd like to have that blacksmith too. <laughs> yes. Gree's gonna carefully walk through the door. She's uh, she's gonna see if there's anything possibly suspicious because she's still not entirely uh, trusting everything down here. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and you can take a step or two in and uh, roll me a perception check. Ooh. Perception. Oh, please, God. Let me have a good roll. That's an 11 for a total of 24. You smell. Grind. You smell dirts and yeah, and the grime. <laughs> the dirt, Me. the dirt and grime. It's like think of a dusty old basement sort of feeling. You've ever walked in like a warehouse area with a bunch of the like you just smell yeah. like the wood and the it's boxes like that, that, and things like the, that. Like a uh, musty smell. Oh my god, it's a fantasy Amazon warehouse. Oh my gosh. And No, it smells and, like a Walmart back room. And you no. smell exactly. Oh and, no, uh, the so back rooms. Is your PTSD and um, <laughs> you also smell smoke in a way coming lingering to the right and you will notice that there are chains kind of rattling or so over so often. Ching, 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 ching. I would do my sound effect then. I would get up. Like, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they see the cave to the right opens up just a bit more. You also see the staircase. Uh, the staircase coming up to the left. It goes up and goes to a platform and then hooks up. You do realize when you were coming down here, you went down uh, a good chunk of ways. You kind of had to go, like, go down a flight of stairs, stop at a junction. Are we turn beneath left. the boat at this point? You believe, you believe you're a good chunk uh, of a distance beneath uh, the boat. Uh, okay. Something uh, is telling me this isn't just a key, a normal I, key. I don't think so. Do you guys want to go ahead and check out the key and then I can make sure Croc's not sending guys in behind us to kill our asses or something? You know what? That sounds like a lovely idea. Yeah, and I can also, you know, warm up to him and butter him up and get on his good side by trading information for information on the blacksmith. Let's get the key first. Okay. <sighs> no, Maybe no, you should not no, leave. No, 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 no. 
Hear Great something slaps. When you're sleeping. Slaps. Oh no! Great like, claps her paw over his mouth. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like grabs it, it, his snoot is like the <laughs> his eyes bug out. You, you know what it is? It's that free. It's one of those freeze frames from when groups walk in haunted houses, and it's a camera coming out of nowhere attached to a scare, and they just get a little funny fr freeze frame of a group, and it's just Hart pulling up his arms in front of Beetle and Gray, and all of the the three of them looking ah, oh! while Talim is just the dad that is walking in front of them, <laughs> like stone faced. Talim, why don't you go in first? So, Croc said that the key was to the right or the left. I right. I, to, to the right. So okay. into the, yeah. you know, the suspicious cave. Into the suspicious, snoring, growling cave. Oh. Also, there's... I cannot see anything on my map. It's completely pitch black. Uh, yep. Heart lights a lantern. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> Talim will actually um, like pull out Not his that, uh, that fancy his, ghost his, lantern. His, yeah. yeah. Mm. Pull out his his ever burning torch and uh, hand it to whoever wants it. It, uh, it actually, it seems like uh, uh, Talim just started to like walk into the dark like he didn't even notice. I'll, I'll, Gray, I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you for the light source, Snoring. So no. Talim like walks in and he's got his uh, his shield up and his uh, his hand on the, the pommel of his sword and um. What you see before you, Talim, with your vision, you're able to see this a lot earlier, but now thanks to the torch, you guys are brought up. You see a being chained in the middle of this cave. Oh. It is large and it is sleeping. Oh! Oh my god! It is large is and it is sleeping. Man? It is bound by various chains. It wears various chains, some of it kind of coming out of this helmet as if it was a beard of parts of it are linked into its arms, like wrapping around the bones on it to keep it even further contained. And you see it sleeping with a hammer. It's using sort of like a pillow. It's also wearing oh. a big apron. This is a ginormous, like just kind of like a giant of a being with hairy arms and a hairy back and so, and it is sleeping. It is to the side, just going, it's dead. That's the blacksmith. What? She's not a key. A key isn't always something you just put into a door to unlock it. But why would the, why would Curtinant want a whole guy? Maybe it's not him. Maybe it's what he can do. Oh. Huh? Dude's huge. How are we gonna get him out? Well, Croc said we could take him, so uh, this is gonna be um. What if we wake him up very carefully? How do you propose that, Beetle? I look uh, around to see if there's actually an actual key somewhere, just to make sure. Sure, roll me perception. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right totally there. It's like, like a little yeah. house key. It's under totally a rock. Like, Please fuck I got, I got, I got a, a total of a 24. Is there anything that's obviously a key beside this big <laughs> fuck? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> also, this is this is probably Vina's friend, right? Like she said it was a friend that was like trapped, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, it... Oh fuck. As far as getting him out, we have Motions back to the extremely large staircase. Yeah. I have an idea. If Go he's on. Friends with Vina, let's put on our scarves. It would smell like her. Yeah. If he has that kind of sense of smell, I can hope and pray. Yeah, or if they're friends, I'd hope he knows that Vina knits. Talim. <laughs> hmm. You can't eat it. Do you still have the cookie? <gasps> I. You do still have it. Yes. Uh, <gasps> what does that, that have to do with anything? Friendship token. Friendship Vina token. Made it. Wake him up with it. I. Vina made give, it, Talim. Give, give, give me. I, 
You want me to feed him a fucking ghost cookie? <laughs> All right, then hand it over to me and I will I give it to him. Salim spends like five minutes on killing this cookie. I'm making it back to a corporeal cookie. He's like, okay, hold your hand out. And he just like sits there. He's like, mm. it's just like a dialogue tone progress bar. Just... He, he, he writes with chalk on the ground. He asks everyone to hold hands. The sounds of a dying modem. The, the, the cookie comes back to quote unquote life. Yeah, and then, sitting there squatting on it, the floor it, it in the just, dark for five minutes over a cookie. Yeah, it fucking, <laughs> it, and then it just drops into Gray's hand. He's like, a cookie. Thank you, dear. And she will slowly. I'll come with you. I have creep her way over. The beetle puts a scarf on. Yeah, Gray's got her her scarf on. It's like nestled, like wrapped around her normal cloak. She'll uh, it on his belt. slowly wander up. She'll... Jeez! <laughs> Beetle gives Gray an encouraging thumbs up. Gray slowly looks over her shoulder like, okay! She's had a day. She doesn't care anymore. She'll kind of... <clears throat> Wake up! Hello. Just kind of get a little closer. If she like gets closer, Talim is just in the back. He's like, ah. this is as close as she gets. <laughs> Excuse me. He's wakey, back. wakey. How would you <laughs> wake a giant? Try waving the cookie around in front of his. <laughs> <laughs> How would you wake a giant outside of his reach? <laughs> Pot, pots and pans, and bang, 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 bang. <laughs> hey. She tried so, so much just being nice and gentle yeah. and quiet. Now she's just like, hey, hello. I need you to wake up, please. I'm good here, here to get, get you outside. Shaking. Saving face. you. <laughs> Rattles chain a little bit. Yeah. Still asleep. Fuck. Beetle sidles over, grabs this chain, and little like does a little side to side rattles like little. They're quick, so little scared <laughs> of like pissing him off when he wakes up. <laughs> As chains pierced into his flesh, and you go like, oh yeah, let me jiggle it. <laughs> let me jiggle the. <sighs> Gray will now cup her hands. Just hello. He's thirsty. What are you? He's asleep. Uh, How the maybe, fuck do you wake people up? Seriously? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can. You bring wake him you shake him. To drink. You, you just shake him. Wake up. You shake him. Maybe we can. Maybe we can bring him something to drink. Um. Uh, does he have ears? <laughs> you, you see the big metal helmet he has on. Does I With can't see any ears. Him. Okay, no, can I... closer inspection, roll me perception check. Okay, yeah, Beetle comes up, he's looking for an ear. <laughs> That's total of 34. I can't believe half yeah. our party got squashed by a giant. No! That's a, it's, a, it's a good roll. Well, you notice as you get closer and look at his head, it's, it's a, kind of like a wedge shape, kind of um, like, think of like a, a very broad, yeah, like think of like a big cheese wedge of a helmet okay. with holes and stuff in it. And as you get closer, you you know this thing will have ears. You can't quite still see past the helmet with all the hair and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, but you do notice on his hammer, to cushion the hammer, is a very large scarf. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, can Beetle But you know that his helmet is metal, and that's where his ears are in. Yeah, can I climb the giant to get to his helmet? <laughs> Uh, you can get to it just where you are, because it's near oh, the ground. Oh, thank God! Okay! Oh, I didn't know how big this hammer was, so thank God, okay? <laughs> no climbing! Okay, Beetle's gonna come right up to the giant rattling tin, and <laughs> he's gonna put his snoot in one of the holes where he thinks the ear is, and he's gonna go, Hey there! <laughs> ASMR! 
you, you know when you're asleep and you feel a spider on your arm? I'm gonna spend a villain point. Good suggestion there. No! Spend a villain point. Is my sleep paralysis demon. I spent a villain point. What about you, Mr. Giant? Beetle. Roll me yeah. a reflex save as this yeah. thing go, basically just goes. Oh, God. And swings a hand. Whoosh to smash the weird bug. <laughs> that Run over what you needed. And you're able oh. to scamper back a square. He goes, oh, and basically oh, just the hand just bang comes in. And you seem to have woken him up. Oh, thank God you're awake. Ah. Okay. Oh, ha hey there. Hello, sir. We're here to Hi. get you out of here. We're Your friend friends. Vina is upstairs. Yeah, we're friends with Vina. We're here to get you. I'm trying to see if there's like an appropriate music thing. We'll try this. He grips his scarf around his neck and he, he pulls it off and waves it around. I'm waiting for this guy to start talking and he just has the most Mickey Mouse voice ever. <laughs> oh, no! boy, everybody. It's thanks for helping me out there. <laughs> 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 it's all just messed up. But uh, we'll see here. You see that he will... This giant will basically just kind of move itself up. It's just, it takes it a while and it just goosh, goosh, as its hands kind of ride itself. He stays kind of like seated. The chains, the chains aren't allowing him to fully stand. And he looks at all of you and you see he's a bit grumpy as you can kind of tell by his demeanor. But yeah, I'd be too. He looks at you all and you hear coming from his, uh, the, the metal head of Oh god, is he speaking common? Nope. Oh no. Um I don't know what you're saying. Um um but we mean here. you no harm. Here Vina! Here to help you? So you say he starts doing charades, he starts swinging his arms around. Here to help you? Vina? Vina? And he'll... <laughs> he takes his hands and he fans them out above his head like mouse ears. Vina? Yeah. She's upstairs. She's, she's with us to come get you out. We're here to help you! Yeah! And you're here, you want a cookie? He tries to sh 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 like pull on the chains and stuff, and you're seeing the oh. cave walls. It's gonna. She's not like trying to rip out or anything. But he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, like, um, if you want to kind of see how his demeanor is and stuff like that, people observing, uh, <laughs> like Hart and Talim can roll me a perception check to see how he's responding to it. Absolutely. I rolled a total of a 27. I rolled a total of an 18. Okay, Talim, uh, Hart, you're just saying like, like, things are familiar to you, but you're not, you're like, you're not quite understanding the, what's going on here, but the words seem to be kind of familiar to you, Hart. Talim, you notice this thing is like trying to look around going, where's friend? Where is friend? <laughs> and the creature will look down and see the beetle holding up the little treat. And and oh, uh, Gray has it. Gray has it. Oh, Gray, I'm sorry. Yeah, Gray, uh, Gray has it. Uh, we'll see that Gray will be holding it and it'll go. <laughs> Cookie from Vina. She's upstairs. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get you out of your chains. Is that okay? Can I come up there? Heart, uh, roll me a perception check. 
as you do that. Don't worry, like, I'll, I'll get to you, Beetle. My, I'm sorry. No, that's yeah, yeah. totally okay. It rolled a 17 for a total of 30. You're like, you're slightly under, like, like something for some reason is trying to click in with you, heart. Um, yeah. It's like, these are There's words. There's a weird vibration in his head or something. These are words that someone familiar to you have spoken to you. Like, things are kind of coming through now. Um, but you get the feeling heart that it's like, I know that friend make that. And you see that the giant is kind of pointing to your scarves and he's asking, um, he's asking, are you friend or are you, are you captor? Heart takes one step. He puts down the lantern and takes one step forward and puts a hand on his chest to like just hey i'm here i'm a, i'm an existing person i don't fucking run out from the shadows and is here to fucking destroy you um, and and uh he goes friend but he says it in this word that he that he somehow knows and he just goes Oh, you speak giant? And from you, heart, you're basically from that just bit. You, your, your understanding. It's really hard to get the exact words out of it, but you're like this person's been captured and he wants out and he's like and he's giving you permission like if you can help but the chains are strong and it's hard for me to break them uh he does not know if, if even you can gray kind of looks back over her shoulder like what's what's going on what's going yeah. on he he he's chained down he's chained down like uh he has a hard time breaking these chains can we get them out of him can i get them out of him and he asks he asks uh the said the back and forth uh um, yeah yeah he'll he'll pretty much translate through you no um they're deep in his bones mm. uh, they're a part of him like he is, point. he basically explains that he is dying uh, due to these chains and something is creeping in and he thinks he is oh. better here to, to be safer because he doesn't want to hurt his friend. Uh. Hey, Soren. Yes. Can I spend a hero point? Yeah, to do what? To do a narrative declaration. Yeah. Can I know the giant word for the rot? I would have to go with. I uh, have to check on Thurston for this one. We'll make up a word for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Right whatever. So no one whatever. Take this is yeah, actual yeah, yeah. war. Uh, yeah. But yes. I, and, and I and I ask it the single word as a question. Take you down to hero point. Chat, I'll allow you to uh, coin a term. You're gonna right. chat that power? I'm gonna give chat some suggestions, but I'll let uh, salty. <laughs> I'll let Snoo Snoo Cap. Actually, the giant word for rot is Sugma. The giant word for the rot is Poggers. Salty, since you've been helping out with giant stuff, feel free to either pick from chat suggestions or make up your own. And we'll see. Next time we kind of do a little lore meeting thing, we'll see if we can use that or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so if you're listening to this, it's not set in stone. We'll we'll figure it out in a PDF one day. <laughs> yeah, let, let's just go with um, uh, <laughs> let's just go with uh, yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, Karen, <laughs> yeah, I love Jack. Let's let's just call it the one thing then. Uh, let's just call it. Dead, which means dead. death. Yeah, dead. Okay. 
you see that he'll he'll nod. What does that he, mean? He's afflicted by the rod. What? Oh no. Curtinad could cure him. If we could get him to Curtinad, Curtinad could cure him, probably. Uh, I. If the if he is the key, then why would Curtinad want him? Does he he doesn't want to leave? Speak. To clarify, he does not want to leave. They do not wish to leave from this place. They think that this is the safest place to be. Not, and in, if I understand correctly, not for them, but for other people. He's afraid of hurting people. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What do we do? No. Beetle. I, I want to point out. As soon as you said that, the music went bong and yeah, <laughs> actually did great. Yeah. yeah, Beetle, show him the fork. Go in fork. A fork? And he'll reach around and he'll, he'll pull out the fork. Uh, and he and Hart points at the little gemstone in the fork, and he asks, "Friend? Like, are are the gem people friends?" <laughs> That didn't sound good. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I, I I do not think that we should take him to Curtin. Uh, he's afflicted with the rot. You'll basically hear him try to explain to you saying, uh, to come closer, I will give you the key. So I, so I can, so I, so you can keep it safe as someone who should be able to hold the key. Oh, he wants us, he, he, he wants to give us the key. What? It's he knows about key. the key? He knows Supposedly. about it? He knows Supposedly. that Curtin wants it? Thank no, you. Okay. He, he, he thinks that we can keep it safe. Celine kind of like stands at the back as this is all going on and he's just like looking at this exchange and you know especially the um adverse reaction to the um dimension of the uh of the Atmari and uh he's just sitting there and his arms are folded and just think and just very much appearing deep in thought I mean, mm. do you think that we have been played he doesn't want us to give the key to Curtin, and does he? No, no, he wants us to have it. But then we can't get cured. Or maybe. Or? Huh? The key leads to what can fix it. Maybe. It matters into maybe. our own hands. I see what you're saying. If we are mm. willing to make an enemy of Curtinan and the Admari. Ugh. Why can't things be simple? Welcome to the underworld. Ah, oh, I'm tired. Curtinan needed the key to help us. It was not that he could help us and then we would return the favor. So I think that the Leem is onto something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Could you hold this lantern for a moment, Beetle? Yes. Beetle takes it. Thanks. Uh, Hart takes a step forward and holds out a hand. Uh, how big is the key? <laughs> <laughs> you see, he'll reach into his pocket. It's a little house key. It's <laughs> has a little Mickey Mouse pattern on it. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe the key was a Mickey Mouse watch. <laughs> uh, as you get oh, closer... Um. Da -da -da, yeah. As you get closer, you will see that he um he'll kind of stop you. He kind of put up a hand and says, "Just wait there, because he'll get to you." Mm -hmm. And you'll see he'll start kind of like a basically just kind of adjusting his shoulders a bit as he kind of sits up. 
and you see that he'll basically kind of like, whoosh, like basically bring one of his hands around and very quickly will just, just, just basically just kind of grab into himself. Oh. And basically as he's grabbing into himself, sorry, music should have been a lot better than this. No, <laughs> no, go for it. The way he's just kind of screaming or so as he just right into his chest and just just rips out just 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 kind of just kind of like piece of rock and flesh like thing that is on fire and he will look to you heart and say words that only you will kind of know And you'll see that this flame kind of will basically, it'll shrink or so, but he'll extend the palm and hearts. This flame yeah, yeah. is hovering in front of you, in front of your chest. And he the, and you hear that he's asking you to bring this to his heart as he brings it to yours. Do you accept the flame? Of course, it's the, uh, it's the Ghibli, uh, uh, house moving castle scene <laughs> <laughs> with his hair flowing backwards from an unseen force and everything. Yeah, big time. With your hair billowing forward and just like this wave of heat, everyone's feeling like you're feeling a forge in his hands. Burma just whoosh as it's basically coming forward. You take in the flame, heart. You take in the flame, your entire body seems like pretty much internally just to just feel a surge of flame kind of come through you. And congratulations, Hard. You have acquired some new abilities. Oh, yo! But you also have the essence of flame inside of you now. And Talim, as you remember, as he says, find my heart. I believe you would rec recall some a chest that you found inside the blacksmith's home. Oh, Talib's not the only one who recalled that bitch. Uh oh, -uh, I'm sitting here thinking about that right now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god! Yeah, it's all coming together. Specifically, there are two big orbs and a talisman in that chest. I'm thinking we, about it right like, now. Kind I got of a big old smile on my face. <laughs> looks like he sees Hart take it in and he like brings a a finger like up to his veil and he kind of like looks down and he, you know that, that forge like heat and what were essentially the unfinished orbs in the chest he just kind of muster himself make it whole find the blacksmith and make it whole We gotta go I, back. We Does he go slump back. over after? Yes, he's dying. Is he dead? You see, he's a bit weakened now. He had a luster to him. You see, he had life in him, but now it's as if like a a shade has kind of go over him. Uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait! But we'll we'll tell Vina she lo uh, you love her very much. Oh, but she should be able to see him. Wait! Don't Not die like yet. This. Wait! No. Oh. Hard. What? You heard no. or understand saying yeah. to tell Vina, thank you for being my only friend. Uh! Is she the blacksmith's daughter? No. No? Didn't he have one? <laughs> Hart puts a hand oh? on, 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 on this giant's, like, hand that was reached out, and he says um, the word for we, and we in giant is just giant. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so he basically says that we are a lonely people. 
I'm happy that you found someone. Oh. So he'll nod. Okay. And so he I will am lay back down. Am I misremembering? Was there not a smaller bed and wasn't like part of the concern that he had a daughter? No. No? no. no. Okay, I'm misremembering. Okay. You just uh, had a very big, uh, a very big uh, bed and a uh, ha a handmade uh, teddy bear for him. Right, yeah. right, right, right. That's probably why I thought he had a kid because of the teddy bear. But it's from Vino, who makes the ah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna ask for uh, conscious of time. Because there's one last bit that might take us. Uh, 40 something minutes. I want to be conscious of that. <laughs> to I'm finish good. this all off. I'm good. Yeah. We I'm good? Here. We good? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. You see, he will lay down or so. But you start to hear activity over to the west side. What the? Something Footsteps. popping off. Footsteps. Heart, cr heart cracks his neck. I don't I think that. I knew they were going to come freaking try and kill us or something. This is why yeah. I should have gone and talked to them. As you all step up that way, you see several members. Oh, yeah. You see Croc <sighs> above there, above the stairs, looking down at you all. Several, several members, several thugs are looking down at you all and saying... Well, well, well. Well, I did prophecy of the key. I thought he would kill you trying to get it, though. Seems somehow someone befriended that monster. I think killed a whole bunch of my boys. And that's why curtain has been won. So I guess you found his key? You found everything at this point? See, I'll let you go, maybe. But turn to find you be able to get through everything, kill several of my boys in the past. Don't worry, I still I get reports every so often up of a couple of goons going out and slaughtering my folks every so often. I think we're done with business now. And after I deal with you, and he'll point to you, Beetle, I'm gonna take care of your family. Every one of them. That's gonna fucked up. Gonna start with, I wanna crack that one egg one like an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have me a good southern breakfast. <laughs> Beetle's eyes slide to be forward faced and he pulls out his Giselle. Becomes Predator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna start with the egg, and then some of the youngest ones. Probably strain them up across the walls of the place. Probably take some of their skin, trying to make myself a new pair of boots. You think you're a big guy, huh? You think you're a big old mean guy, huh? You think you're pretty cool, huh? Bet you think you're pretty cool up there, talking all that shit. We were talking about how these nice things we were gonna do because we felt bad just walking away with the key. Well, you can forget about niceties, and it'll, it'll fucking take the safety off it. I don't even know if there's like fucking loads in. <laughs> I imagine just make, you like just stuff make... it in a boy. Wow, well, you, you're just a motherfucker, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be nice. Hey, exactly. Talim will actually will 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 float will float to the um the the, the front in front of beetle yeah and uh he, he's got a shield on his one arm and he's got the one hand on his pommel um the coin in between his fingers and uh he lifts it up and he starts to you know like roll the coin between his fingers it's always such a shame when negotiations break down but i will say i will look forward to taking over your business when <gasps> you're gone No. Gray just walks forward. She's just, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. just I'm Everyone tired. Get your I'm in. tired. She just says, I'm tired. <laughs> 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 she unsheathes her crossbow. She's like, I'm tired. <laughs> Gray's 
a snoring. Right, thing. I'm snoring. Uh, knowing that uh, uh, that Croc has done all this and now is now threatening us, uh, and the information that our team previously gave to one another, uh, Hart will just take one step forward, point out towards the shadows where he hears Croc's voice. So I don't know which one of them is Croc. Uh, uh, and Hart is just gonna ask, seen any worms lately, Croc? <laughs> know he, anything about that? He snarls at you. Gonna be seeing them soon? He snarls at you and he will basically point uh, to you all and he goes, get him. Roll <laughs> me initiative. Alright, let me get you set in combat mode. Sorry, one second. My uh let me refresh my little thing here because some of the images disappeared. Hee hee hoo. No, no, not the oh, I gotta re-log in. <laughs> oh no, uh, let's go. And before and as you guys roll uh for initiative, which you should be able to do now, we're gonna take ourselves a quick little break. Yeah, okay. before combat starts. So we'll be, a break. we'll be right back. And we're back. Ah. Battle has started. The initiative so far is Beetle has a 26. Gray has a 26. But Beetle won to the decks, I think. Hart has a 17. Sleem has a 15. And now for all of them. I'm going to have to minus one of these guys. There we go. Let me get them ready. One of the thugs roll. Croc rolls. Thug rolls. Other thug rolls. A word eater that came with Croc rolls. A thug God comes damn in. It. Oh god. Okay. Don't worry, it's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now the initiative order. Uh it is starting off with Croc. You see him kind of take out like this really just fancy, like just like just a thickum of a pistol oh, out, and he was like, oh. he was like, and he aims it at. The one, the one who gave him the most sass was Talim. I feel so he's gonna aim at Talim, who who uh, I think he might have a. Thing possible to help with this. You aim at him and basically just boom! Like it's like a hand cannon, just pow! Just basically just fires into lean, but he rolls terribly, missing just by a bit. Because he was slightly out of range and it's dark and all this other stuff. And he goes, and what he'll do is that he'll spin an action to reload his gun. And he'll start moving forward. Reptile shootout. And while he's yeah. like, he's like, come on, boys, get him! Oh my what? god, I gotta put on a... Fear, 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 fear. There's the the village music from that Twilight Princess game, the Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Twilight Princess hidden village. Yeah, I gotta listen to that shit. One of the, um, one of the thugs come up and sees you, Talim, because seeing you in the front. Uh, he'll take a hatchet that he has and whoosh, tries to come in and get you. Uh, fails, your shield, you're able to just whoosh, basically just to block that up. Your shield's doing a phenomenal job. <sighs> Need to use two of his actions to get up to you. It's me, I'm the guy with the shield. <laughs> you stood there, good job. <laughs> Next up, you see that this uh, this other thug who has a crossbow or hand crossbow will aim at you, Beetle. You see this person, ha person has come up, does a shoot at you, misses, just pretty much the hand crossbow fires, it misses you, and he will get behind uh, the crate to take cover while reloading. There's that's all of his action. Beetle. You got a gun, and all, a lot of you have basically upgraded your weapons for striking and potency runes and stuff during downtime. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you got a good shakawaka with your stuff I now. I got a good shakawaka. 
I would like to aim point blank at the guy directly in front of me and devise a stratagem. All right. Assess the foe's weakness. Firm like your thing. Choose a creature you see and roll a d20. Go, and roll, go ahead and do the attack roll. Like as much as like roll a d20 and you suffer. Just do your attack roll and see if you're okay oh, with sure. that or not. With your intelligence. Yeah. Check yeah. it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, intelligence checked on. Okay. You know you will oh, miss because there'll be a two on the die. But then oh, you can shoot fuck. someone else. That's right. Okay. I will pivot and I will shoot this guy over here in front of Croc. Awesome. And I think then I hit MAP minus five, right? Uh, no, then you shoot with regular instead of Just with intelligence. Just regular. Okay. Yeah, because you didn't actually you. shoot them before. It's yeah, been a while. Since these are subjects of your lead, it won't take you an action. It's a free action. Oh, sick. Amazing. Because they're subject okay. of your lead. Uh, just to make sure you your strike instead of running main substitution for the first strike you make against the, the creature this round, not any subsequent attacks. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you're dedicating basically the other one. You hit him just right with the 27 to plow with your Giselle. Yeah. Roll me yeah. damage. Do, do, do. Do. That do, is a 26. Do, 26. Come boom! Just, his Jeez. arm falls off. Like, just, that's just a <laughs> blast of the guy. He's like, ah! <laughs> he freaking out, bleeding everywhere. Uh, that was a free action to use to find your stratagem. Did not work out? One, the shoot. You can reload for your second, and or or do a third. You have two actions left. Uh, can I reload and shoot him again? Damn straight. <laughs> now it's minus five, right? Yes. 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 Multiple attack penalty. Okay. There we go. Roll. Oh, good. That's an that's 18 on the die. <laughs> oh, yeah. wait, no, wait. That's 30 to hit. 30 to hit. Okay, there we go. And down damage. 25 points. Of Jeez. Boom. He is gone. He's dead. <laughs> he fucking and bodied that man. When his body slumps to the side, Beetle points at Croc, just points at him. <laughs> 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 You're Gray. next, baby boy. Great, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm targeting uh, the thug in front of Beetle that is my targeted prey. Uh, and I'm going to shoot him with the crossbow. Just whip, just whip. Boom. And that is a 12. Oh, I hit him with a 27. I'm going to roll for damage. That is 12 damage. Boom. Ow, just... <laughs> Boss! <laughs> Stop on and get him! <laughs> and, uh... She's gonna... She's gonna back away for her last action, and that allows her to reload. Okay. Now, one of the other thugs is now like, uh, they have guns, boss. It's like, I don't care if they got guns. Kill them all! <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, boss. And you'll kind of... <laughs> He's two of his actions to come up to Talim. He's like, uh, uh, and he's looking at you, Talim. He is terrified because you're like this undead ghost looking thing. He's like, uh, uh, and, he, and he'll try to hit you with a hatchet. And Stop making roll, me feel bad for the thugs. Roll a natural one is what he'll do. And he's like, uh, 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 and that's all Talim of his actions. Just, just bats the hatchet away and looms. <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, and what you'll see now, uh, this word <laughs> he's eater. Just like, it's, it's just like, do you fear death? <laughs> he just does this curly scream of. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still in the fight. The word eater will step up. Step up. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> step up. And he'll do, he'll do like that. one action for a thing, and he will cast shield upon himself. So, ha, oh, he now has shield. Quick context, my bird says step up. My parry is a step up. <laughs> <laughs> this other, uh, this one game here with a, cro with a hand crossbow will look at you, Talim, and fire. Terribly missing. You will reload. you reload and try again. Missing for the oh. second time. Miss Art, it. it is your turn. <laughs> Step up. Nice. Miss it. Step up. I'm gonna miss it. Enter mountain stands. Mountain stands. Yeah, baby. 
Um, you feel as you enter mountain stance. Yeah. Uh, for heart, that there's a with the essence that you have acquired. You feel that your attacks just like 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 it's more molten than earth. Mm. Mud man. Forbidden rock candy. <laughs> Uh, Hark slides up towards this duder with a crossbow bolt in him. Uh, and he just reaches out with his basic ass hand uh, towards this guy. Um, uh, and I am going to flurry of blows him, which allows me to strike twice for one action. All right, uh, let's see. My Quick rolls. My first roll. It's a miss, uh, sadly. Um, yeah. But the second, this is why Fleur Plus is great. Uh, that's a critical miss. Um, Jeez! I, uh, Hart doesn't know how to fight uh, in this new state that he's in, and just looks a bit confused <laughs> as to how he's moving so much slower than he was before. It's like, you're still trying to get used to like the power that's been just coursing through you. It's just kind of messing with you a little bit. Yeah. Not quite getting your footing. It's like uh, riding a Vespa, except now you have a jet engine on it. Yeah. <laughs> Talim, it is your go. It is my go. Oh, boy. All right. So I'm going to use my first action to actually raise my shield. Yay. 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 And Talim will actually then take his ass coil. Why are we so excited his, uh, about raising a shield? Three <laughs> <laughs> bird starts playing. When, when was the last time I got to raise the shield? I don't remember. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Talim raising it in slow motion. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Anyway, you, you do an ass and, coil. Uh, yeah, anyways. um, And so uh, I will actually... this. Uh, dude in front of me, um, who is absolutely just actually hold on, wait, they uh, what do you want? Yeah, the, yeah, the one, okay, yeah, no, the one in front of me, I'm going to actually uh attack, uh, using a spell strike, okay, with uh, gouging claw, excellent, let's see it. Yeah. So, going to okay. your melee attack, do my melee attack, I go. Boom, you hit. Rolling a... Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. You, you you do your thing. You announce it all. Yeah. I'm so used all to right. filling in the dead air. So no, no, no. you guys no. do it. There you go. My bad. So, it. Yeah, I will actually do my uh, weapon damage, which is 2d6 plus 6 slashing for a total of 10. And then we get to add on the gouging claw damage uh, since Ooh. I did hit. And that is going to be an extra 4d6 plus 4 slashing for a total of 29 damage to that Woo! one dog. Boom! Jesus. Boom! That guy's looking bad. <laughs> He's still holding on, but you've just shredded through his armor and stuff. He's having a bad time. And uh, that is the end of my turn. Croc will... <laughs> Take his pistol out again. Now that he's reloaded it and stuff, and point it at hmm. Do 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 do. Talim. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Pow! Whoosh. It misses. Four on the die for a total of twenty-three. Whew. But what he's gonna do is do a special ability of his. Uh oh. Called luck of the dice. It's a reaction. If Croc fails a D20 result, oh, Croc can roll two D6s. If they're both sixes, Croc results, Croc, or the result increases by one degree of success. If it's two oh. ones, it goes down by one degree of success. Everything else, everything, the roll stays the same. Oh no. He's oh. gambling. Mm, he's gambling. Nothing happens. Gamba, gamba. Oh, he reloads. Uh, he reloads and uh, he pretty much like kind of takes cover here by this crate. Now, one of the thugs here kind of sees Talim. He's like, you're not going to take us all. 
<laughs> he tries to hatch at you, Talim. Fails utterly. Tries oh. it again. Fails utterly. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> he tries for a third time. He's not getting any hits in. Have you seen that video of like the person dancing while they dodge punches and stuff? That's just to leave. Just but the dancing is like wiggling, like it's so subtle. <laughs> you see one of the other uh, ranged dudes will see you heart and try to fire, fail at a shot, reload and try to shoot again. Failing. Beetle, it's I your would, turn. I would like to note that a lot of us have just been standing here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I have to reload as as one action, and then I will boopity boopity devise a stratagem on this guy blocking my line of sight. He'll go, hey, you're in my way! I'm trying to get the gator! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to shoot the gator! Then shoot the gator! I'm trying to shoot the gator! You gotta shoot the gator, Beetle! Uh, Beetle knows he will miss, so he will yell that shoot at the that guy. guy. And then he'll he'll be like, you're in my way, and then he'll shoot the guy next to him. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot the gator, I'm gonna shoot that guy right there. <laughs> Natural oh, 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 hey. okay, That okay, one Beetle, guy got messed Beetle. up so bad. Froggy, yeah, this is an exciting yeah. moment. Yeah. Guns do great when you crit. Yeah. You did 26 before, right? Yeah. Click yeah. the crit button for me. <laughs> Look at all that damage. Holy oh shit. What's my the number? God. 53 <laughs> points of damage plus 1d6 bleed. You ever that see man a man is just, get a, just disappear? He just, just turned him into powder. a beast. Yeah. Also, your strategic strike went on when he wasn't your target thing. Well, off, regardless of it, even with all the other damage that you would have rolled, you fucking ruined this dude. Yeah. <laughs> you just, just Thanos snapped him with a rifle. Gone. Like, you just looked at him and blinked and he exploded. Like, regardless of the additional stuff that probably shouldn't be there, he only had so much left. Just, he, his spirit's gone. That man lived blubbering and he died blubbering. <laughs> you know, like they say that a that a that a ghost may come back if they have un you just finished all of his fucking business. <laughs> there was no business left to finish. <laughs> <laughs> all contracts fulfilled, all promises over, all money owed, paid. A necromancer comes up to him and goes, I can't work with this. <laughs> So with oh that, God. you've reloaded, free action, try to strategy something, didn't work out, targeted the other guy, fired, second action, got one action left. I do? Oh, oh then, actually, no, you reloaded, fired. So, yeah, I reloaded, fired, uh, and he will re yeah. he'll reload again and shout through the, the mist that's kind of floating all over the place. Hey, so you use the, uh, the sinkhole as a dumping ground for bodies, right? You want us to put there there after this? Is that where you want to go? Or should we put you in the, in the tubes with your mom? You want to try to intimidate? Yeah. Who you want to intimidate? I'm trying to intimidate Croc. He's shouting over, like, okay. through the mist of the guy he uh, just blew up. Let's do this. Croc. Let me make this easier for you. Uh, one second. <gasps> oh, my God. Let me get you the uh, demoralize action on your thing. Although, can I do that? You sure can. Because Everybody can I intimidate. Used to, I use so my I'm action drunk? to reload. Yeah, you reload at the start of your turn, right? And then, but then again at the end because I fired. So I don't know if I can use what I said as an intimidate oh, until like right. next you, turn. You yeah. fired twice. My bad. Okay, you're Yeah, he's I'm just so sorry. talking I shit. No, 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 it's my bad. I'm sorry, you're bad. Okay. <laughs> you're good. We're gonna have to put that on your th thing for next time. Gray, my bad. Fucked up there. Uh Gray. No, your don't turn. worry, I'll remember for next turn. Gray kind of just watched this guy get obliterated. There is like a just negative man there now. Uh, so she's kind of like looks at that and just kind of slowly moves her head back towards her her targeted prey. She just kind of blinks and shoots, <laughs> <laughs> just quietly just shoots. I could do that. And I'm gonna a hero point. Use a hero point to reroll that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. And I still missed. Aww, Cries. Unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, then I'll reload and I'll try again with the uh, negative five. Okay. Ding. 
Damn. Damn. That was a critical miss Remember with to a announce 16. Your roles for, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, sorry, podcast, folks. Right. Sorry, podcast right. people. I love you. Kisses you. You see that the, uh, the word eater begins to conjure a terrible, terrible thing. And seeing Beetle just delete that guy, he's like, nope, points at you, Beetle. And will cast magic missile all three actions at you. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh no. Uh, whoops. Oh, shit. You're not supposed to take that one second. Let me heal you there. There you go. All right, you are going to take a three action. Magic yeah, three push. action of it. So that is going to be wow he rolled really well oh, oh my god am i dead uh i mean you're gonna take a lot of damage uh you're gonna take <laughs> nine <laughs> damage three times okay so one two three you're you're gonna be round half now yeah 27 <laughs> points of damage Just do, 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 do. <laughs> beetle spits on the wound shoot someone <laughs> Beetle's on a warpath. He picks up some dirt, rubs it in his wounds. And that spotter's like, hey, he just deleted one of my friends. I'll kill you. And he shoots a hand crossbow thing at you. Critically misses. <laughs> he reloads, tries again. You monsters. You're all monsters. At first, we're the monsters. We're the monster squad. Beetle just starts laughing. Heart, heart. It's yeah. uh, it's your, it's your go. But the guy's like, I knew the dragon would kill us all. I fucking knew it. And that, and that monster is giant freak too. Hey, and he points to heart. Uh, heart. Uh, missed this guy. He doesn't know how to move. Uh, when he's slowed down like this. Uh, so he is going to when he is like being all uh, frantic and shit. Uh, Hard is just gonna reach out his hand and grab him. Okay. This time I actually will click the grapple ability. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, baby. Yeah, turn so him will and click the athletics thing. Thank you. Here we go, baby. Let's go. That's a critical success. Critically Whoa! succeeded. The opponent is uh, now restrained. Uh, first of all, he takes four damage. Because uh, I have the feat known as Crushing Grab. Mm. Yes. He takes Which, the four. Uh, yes, he takes the four as Hark just grabs him by the throat. Uh, and Hark points with the other hand uh, towards, uh, towards this guy as he goes, Catch! I want to use my newfound ability called Whirling Throw. Mm -hmm. uh, whirling Throw lets I me. Love monks. When I uh, when Hart has someone grappled, uh, he can oh, perform good. an athletics check. Uh, not a grapple check, meaning that this has no multiple attack penalty. It does not have the attack trait. That is why this ability is great. Uh, and then he will toss them. Uh, and he's gonna toss it him right over. Well, at first we will see. Uh, that's a critical success. Uh, yeah, let's so go. He, so he will throw this man by the, th by the neck. Um, uh, he will just throw him towards uh, this magic user. Yeah, uh, he will. He will probably end up landing over here. Throw uh, a motherfucker than, with another right motherfucker. But thematically, it's straight towards them. Uh, and uh, yeah, so they are hurled the distance, lands prone, and they will take three d six uh, plus uh, my strength modifier in that yeah. in blood so damage. You throw your grab or string throw, uh, throw at a great distance. You can throw the creature any distance, distance up to ten up to ten feet. Plus five, plus your strength modifier, which you got that. If you successfully yeah. throw the creature, it takes bludgeoning damage equal to your strength modifier, plus 1d6 per 10 feet you threw. Uh, yeah. Please measure that for me. 30. Uh, well, we'll go via via you. Uh, yes. So definitely 30. 30. 35. Excellent. All right. So roll me the d6s for that. Heck yeah. So 3d6. Plus four. 
Yeah, if your target's one side spawns on you, you get plus four sickness bonus if that's smaller than that. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that, that doesn't apply really here. Where's the plus four uh, come from? And my strength modifier. Yes, okay, okay, okay you're good. Plus yeah, my strength modifier. Strength modifier yes. plus, actually, you're 100% yes. correct. He will yes. take that and just go like, <laughs> you know, he's, he just yeah. lands over here. Now, to throw it to him, I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll allow it. Make me, um, basically, you're going to need to make an attack roll. Uh, well, let's see. Da, da, da. It's combining a lot of stuff for it. So yeah. what I'm going to do is see, because there's no rules of like, can I throw this at a person? Which, yeah, honestly, totally I, I think 100% it, you should be, be allowed to. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically have you do a arm arm strike attack against him. Um, uh, towards the magic user? Or yes. Or towards, the, towards, the, towards the magic user. Let me get you... Um, this should be just arm arm strike. You, for some reason, you... Did you remove yours? Uh, no, I mean a stance. Uh, yeah, just do that. It's the same yeah. calculation. Yeah. Plus 16 to your uh, roll. Mo uh, minus 5 due to multiple attack penalty. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it as that. Heck yes. That's a. That oh. is sadly a nat one. Oh, it wouldn't be a goon session without a nat one. Complication. Oh no, my projectile. Complication. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's very good for a complication. Now, for people who don't know, when someone rolls a natural one, I'm using this to fill up time because I gotta get through this spreadsheet we got. Um, rolls a natural one. Um, yes. basically, uh, they cannot re-roll it with a hero point and just kind of balance things out of chat, giving us hero points and stuff. And, uh, from patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration, people get, uh, um, like you. Yeah. Yeah. Like basically, yeah. Uh, basically like, like you, all of you can submit just in a poll of the complications that happen. Now, I think I may see one, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll take this from GC Rust because it's actually a ranged combat thing called Trust Elf. So thank you, GC Rust, for this. Without warning, a regal-looking elf in gold robes stray onto the battlefield and takes a hit from the player's attack. Uh, this does not interrupt or battle or reroll or anything, nor does it deplete any ammunition. The elf is not killed, but loudly complains about their situation. Um, <gasps> but it will it will reduce the damage. Is that I'll say what the complication is. Um, Hi basically actually it'll just take the hit instead we'll just do that so instead of it's taking it you see this gold nev oh, 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 what's wrong with you people it's like, <laughs> right, yeah. what oh the my fuck God. and he leaves oh, <laughs> he just leaves <laughs> <laughs> I had people pull a building over of my head, and now drunkards are fucking fighting in the wine cellars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, GC Russ, for that. <laughs> it just fucking appears and then... Bye! <laughs> oh, and uh, the guy is no longer grappled. He's just prone. Oh, yeah. He's all messed up now. Yeah. i get rid of... He's having a day. His restraint. I want to put prone on him. And the and pretty much the elf just took the hit for the word eater. Um, I think that's all your actions, I believe, at that point. Yeah, that's uh, that's all of my actions. All right, Talim. I will first off spin an action to keep my shield raised. Uh, Yay! Yippee! 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 <laughs> then I will take another action uh, to enter. Um, actually, no. Uh, first yes. off, I will enter Arcane Cascade. Yeah, baby. Then I will raise my shield, and then my final action, I will spend a single action to recharge my spell strike. And that includes my turn. You know how to put an arcane and, cascade on yourself? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got it. Who's up next? Uh, Croc is up next. And he's like, if you got to get it done yourself, he doesn't leave. Like, Anyway, he leaves. Bye. He comes up, <laughs> strides up twice, um, and he sees Salim basically, you know, just deleted his guy there. He's gonna sh just shugs the thug out of his way, looks at you, Talim, and just like 
You know, like that whole classic like anime thing of just like cracks knuckles, cracks neck. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. He looks down at you and whoosh, pretty much with one of his claws. Come on, just whoosh right down at you. He hits you for a 31. And your shield is raised, so it brought down the uh your AC is raised, so don't worry. Yeah. Lord's gonna pass, it hits you for nine points of damage, just whoosh, just kinda like clawing into you. Um, he will take his second attack. Um. <clears throat> oh yes, yes. Shield block. Shield block oh. as a reaction. Ooh. And you upgraded your shield to a sturdy shield. So what's your hardness of your shield? The hardness of my shield is ten. Oh, and it takes all Damn, the that's damage. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And so Perfect that, block. You can go ahead and do all the calculations of your shield and stuff like that but you, -ching, you do your reaction block that you see he's frustrated now and then he'll basically take out his gun and just on his other hand point it straight at your face and pow basically just try to shoot you with it he hits you even with MAP minus five for a 26 actually just what he needed even though your shield's raised and he will damage you for 12 points of damage. Oh. Wow! Just ten, like it gets past, but you have resistances, I believe. That's right, so I only take 10 damage. And that is all he can do there. Oh, that's one of the dudes that got thrown. He will take an action to stand. He's like, Boss, do I have to go in? He's like, Get him! Get him all! <laughs> and he's like, Okay. It's, it's like, Okay. He's like, Wait! Go get help! He's like, oh, okay. Go, oh. go, 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 go. <laughs> you'll basically side oh, up, shit. and you'll see him disappear from the from the battle. Fuck! One of the spotters will look down at Hart. He's like, he's a freak. He's a freak. He's a monster. <laughs> he fires. <laughs> Just like he, he he fires, misses terribly. No, it, it hits perfectly. It plinks off his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and he will reload and fire again. That'll hit. Well, actually, wait, what? Mine is seven. What the fuck? Target DC 38? Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking bug. Hold up. What happened here? Huh. Well, I guess Foundry <laughs> fucked up. All right, but still. I know what the Did numbers are. Regardless, it missed. Beetle. Okay. So I would now like to use Demoralize, and that's just off of what he was saying before, which was... So you like to use the signal as a dumping ground, huh? Should we put you there once we're done with you? Or should we put you in the tubes with your mom? <gasps> he snarls <laughs> at you. Go ahead. Uh, how I'm this gonna works. Roll. I've got to roll uh, an intimidation. Here, let me let me give you a button to make that easier for you. Oh, click that you. intimidation. Target him and then click that in chat. Oh, oh Nito. That'll just do it all for us. <laughs> Nito Mosquito. Matty Burrito. Can I? add my keen recollection modifier to it it's giving me that as an option uh to, let's to look bust it yeah it, uh, if it is you can recall um, permitted facts on topics that you that aren't your specialty your proficiency yeah. bonus to untrained skills checks to recall knowledge is, is equal to your i'll allow it yeah okay investigator baby that is a total of 25. just because of that shit, you you were able to get it <laughs> His Me? will oh, is I'm really sorry. strong. <laughs> and he and he's like oh. <laughs> he saw what you did to the guy. He saw he's yeah. seeing the situation going right now. He a couple of his guys are dead. He's like, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he would just come in here and kill you all. Uh but yeah, that was one actually. You got two actions left. Uh I can't remember if I loaded my Gun. You reloaded, yes, fired, yes. and reloaded, fired, and then reloaded, and that's why I couldn't use my demoralize. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to uh, devise a stratagem 
on this guy. I'm gonna aim my gun at Croc. You're gonna hit? Okay. I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna shoot. That is 19 points of damage. Pow! And then just, I'm gonna... It just, it just it cuts through his tough hive and he takes it like a champ. Yeah! <laughs> and then I'm gonna reload, baby. Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> Raids, your go. Well, my, my uh, target Raid just booked it. Um, I don't think I could follow him because I would be opening myself up to basically getting attacked by everyone as I follow. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, so Croc is now my hunted prey. I have to, I can't untarget the other guy, by the way, because now he's off the screen. Uh, here, um, I'll, I'll delete him <laughs> so you don't have to worry about him. Okay, thank you. Uh, so Croc is now my hunted prey. Um, got to just take out the crossbow, aim above Talim. Uh, so he's not going through his back, like, you know, <laughs> she's done in the past. <laughs> she's taken into consideration. Uh, she's gonna just fire. Please, please, no, no. You have one hero point. I have one hero point left. Oh, oh, power of chat, please, please. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Eh. Ugh. <gasps> I hit him, and now I'm out of hero points. How much? <laughs> I'm rolling that damage. I hit him for yeah. 30, and now I'm gonna roll for damage, and that's 14. <laughs> he starts growling at you all. I'm gonna reload, and that's it. All right, now it's the word eater's turn. This thing, we'll look at, uh, we'll look at Talim. And it will cast magic missile again. All three actions. Pew, 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 pew. Four, four, two. All right, you almost rolled perfect rolls again. Flame, you're going to take nine, nine and seven points of damage. Woo, sheesh. And then one of the spotters here. Well, looketh at you. Uh, I'll actually look at Beetle and fire hand crossbow going. <laughs> Don't get you! And he rolls a natural twenty. Oh, oh, oh no! False Let's crit go, damage. That guy. Well, he's on eight points of damage on a crit for him, but still chunk of damage on you. Reloads. He did it. Yeah, he finally get a revenge, and then he fucked up another roll. <laughs> <laughs> Hearts, your go. All right. <clears throat> uh, as Talim is being assaulted, hiding behind his shield, uh, he sees Hart point at him like, you know what is up? As Hart runs uh, in this order behind Croc. Okay. Uh, that's one action. Uh, and then I'm going to use the one ability in this game. Uh, that all big, strong tank guys fear. Soren, could you give me uh, the? Uh, could you allow me to perform the trip ability? Absolutely. I get that for you. I can't believe we're about to recreate a JoJo scene on Croc. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cap, cap, cap. Yes. Uh, as Hart leaps up behind Croc and uh, tries to more or less wrangle around his massive head because that's the that's the thing Hart is afraid of from this massive guy um he attempts to trip uh and the cool thing about trips is that they target reflex saving throws rather than uh, fortitude A rolled a seven for a total of 25, which is a success. Hart leaps up, grabs around the head, <laughs> and, and screams, D, D, T, as he just <laughs> slams Croc into the ground. <laughs> uh, and then, as my last action, uh, I wish to, as a thematic point of that, 
uh, perform a flurry of blows, even though they aren't that super strong and they have a massive penalty thematically. They are a part of DDTing this crocodile. <laughs> uh, so I will attack twice, but with penalties towards Croc. Yeah, let's see it. He's prone and feared, so his ACs have been brought down by a good chunk. Yeah, yeah. The first one is a miss, sadly. Uh, a 19. And the, sec and the second one is also a miss, but he is he he's tripped. Talim, fucking go for it. <laughs> Your turn, Talim. So Talim will actually um, he will look down at Croc, uh, spend an action to raise his shield. Uh, and he will raise his sword up and it will be engulfed by a uh, a sickening red glow as he brings it down on him with a vampiric strike uh vampiric touch uh spell strike oh and let's see it i will be using a vial of unsullied blood as the material component for that spell strike let's Ooh. see it all right, oh. let me let me uh, let me target big uh, Croco Man, and uh, then we roll to attack. Yes, you still roll to attack yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. For your and for your item thing, let's see. Uh, for a whole heck in twenty-four. You rolled an eight, and you have one hero point, and he's flat-footed and frightened. This is, mm -hmm. if anything, the moment if you want to be greedy. Uh, but it's up to you. I, I, we're gonna see how this one goes. <laughs> okay, cool. Because there will be other. Uh, Dang it. Yeah. Were you looking at something, Thorn? Uh, I was trying to see your activation of like, do you have to actually spend an action to use your unsullied blood thing or not? Uh, but I'll just I'll accept it in your strike thing now, and then we'll figure it out later. Okay. Of things. I'll keep going. Do you spin a hero point right. to restrike or? Uh, no, because it is a hit. I okay. will go ahead and I, I will I will not get greedy. I will just take the hit, and uh, that is two D six plus eight for a total of seventeen slashing damage. Because I am in arcane cascade after using Galaxy Claw, and then I will roll the damage for Vampiric uh, Touch. Yeah, Vampiric Touch, which is 66 negative. And um, since I used that vial of Unsullied Blood, Unsullied Blood is a catalyst for the Vampiric Touch spell. Normally, when you use it, half of the temporary H, uh, half of the damage. Uh, wait, is it half of the damage? Basically, instead of gaming temporary hit points based on the damage dealt, you recover half the damage dealt as hit points. But since on your downtime activity, you had Holic help you, and due to his sunflower buff stuff, he pretty much helps enhance these types of things. Uh, you yeah. gain all that HP back. And they were roommates. And they were roommates. I did. <laughs> <sighs> Trying to... <laughs> yeah. There it goes. I gotta heal him back. One. There we go. And then for you, you get healed 16. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And that is the end of my turn because that is all of my actions, all three of them. Awesome. Now it's Croc's turn. And he's pissed. <laughs> he is not happy. He'll spin an action to stand up. He will look at you, Hart. Uh oh. Waves both hands at him, like, okay, come, come on then. He's going to, uh, he's going to take his claw. He's going to basically just take his jaws and go and try to bite into you. Yeah. Uh, your oh, AC on, is it like he does beat your AC because for some reason it's a bug and it thinks your AC is like 30 something. But it's not. Uh, it isn't. <laughs> yeah. So he gets you with a 28 and. <laughs> And that's supposed to be improved grab. I don't know why it's grabbed. It's supposed to be improved grab for that thing. It's just swoop, automatically grabbed. Um, which is a special thing with his jaws. So he has you there and he'll deal 11 points of damage to you. And he will do his thing called death roll. Or pretty much he's going to target your 402 DC. 
Yeah. Pretty much with his athletics, if he beats it, you'll take 2d6 damage. Nice. Let's take his athletics and... And fails. Because <laughs> I definitely know 17 does not beat it, but... I do have villain points. Oh no! And it's and it's twenty two. I don't think that beats yours. And no, if uh, he had 42. kept the other. Oh, kept the other one. He would succeed. Okay, never mind. I won't spend. No, no, no. If he had kept the other one, uh, he would have critically failed. Uh, oh but, right, right. It's uh, twenty seven. He yeah, still yeah. fails. It's there, 27. Right. That's right. Um, so he sucks either way. <laughs> <laughs> He's still no, no, a bad it's time. fucking scary. Too bad that I'm too skilled. All right, so <laughs> didn't actually stand up, bite you. Uh, didn't improve grab, which for some reason I clicked the wrong thing on it, and um, pretty much did his little death roll thing, try to get an action on it. That's all that he can do. Now that his turn's down. You notice that a lot more people are coming. No. All right, one second. Let me try to get things figured out here. Oh my God, where are they? I have so many folders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many folders. I think you notice that like not about one, two, three, four, five more guys are coming, but you notice something odd. They are running away. They are hauling ass. They're, like, They're running <laughs> away. Don't let her get us! Don't let her get us! And they are hauling ass. What? Because what you see behind you or behind them is Vina. What? Yes! Vina is running down are behind <laughs> and you see her do a whoosh, whoosh, and throws a knife and takes no. one of them out. No shot! Let's go, Vina! <laughs> and you see they're all kind of uh, kind of there and she seems to be keeping the reinforcements at bay. <gasps> one, of yes. the, one of the spotters looks down and still sees Beetle and will fire his hand crossbow. Hits you. For seven points of damage. He will reload and fire again. Misses on the second one. Almost got you on that one. Beetle, it's your turn. So, Beetle kind of scurries forward. He looks like he's having a Joaquin Phoenix Joker moment. Like he's mm -hmm. spattered in blood and he's just grinning. And he calls out, for as much as he likes business, your leader doesn't seem to be very good at it. Blood is such a big expense. Any of you who stand down don't need to die like him. I can't and believe I Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> no, I don't it know if this crop. would be. I don't. I don't know what to like. If this would be a diplomacy or what this would be. If it would be anything to what these do, people. Uh, what I'm just you, noting. What are you to do? So I'm noting how afraid some of Crocs. Uh, minions are, and okay. Beetle is trying to appeal to them. He's saying, if you stand down, if you stop attacking us, you don't need to die like Croc will. They're like, we're killing Croc, and we're gonna kill you too if you don't stop attacking us. Yeah, so to kind of get, like, everybody or so, it's, uh, unfortunately, with the combat and chaos and everything yeah. else, it's a bit too much. You can probably do it at one individual person. Croc's already been feared, so you can't do it to him again. But if yeah, you want to point yeah. someone in particular, you can do that. Uh, I feel canonically, like, roleplay-wise, it would make sense to do it to one of the shaky bros and not the super strong word eater. So he'll say it to the guy who just shot him. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead and uh, on your action, I'll, I'll click it for you and make it easier for you. Uh, this you. And then boop, in chat there, go ahead and click that to intimidate him. Thank you. That is a total, aw, oh, total yeah. 19 failure. Oh, yeah, fortunately it fails. He's like, we can still got it. We got more dudes than you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Device stratagem. <laughs> <laughs> Prepares to delete. Yeah. 
Uh, so that's a hit. I'm okay. going to roll my damage. That's 14 points of damage. Uh, I think you actually had Croc targeted oh, too, but it's Croc okay. Oh, I had selected by accident. It's Sorry. okay. You, uh... Shoot him. For Shoot him. him. He's shooting the spotter, not Croc. Uh, you crit the spotter. Oh! So click the uh, critical damage button instead. My bad. Couldn't see the red arrows with the effects. Yeah, he's around. gone. Oh! oh! That man is dead. <laughs> that was that was fifty damage, uh, is, podcast listeners. So we did. We go and kills him immediately. <laughs> we could take you. It hits him with the fifty cal BMG. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Remember, Chad. Like, these guys are level seven. Yeah. <laughs> Beetle does a silly little Joaquin Phoenix dance over to behind this wall. As you do that, <laughs> Croc no, takes a swap no, at you. No. Not the boy! Not the boy! And he hits. Ah! And he deals 16 points of damage. Okay. Ooh. No problem. I was going back here to heal anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm like talking big shot, talking big shot, can't drop down to start healing in front of those fucking. <laughs> Sorry, I just crazy. noticed I had crazy. private GM rolls on the entire time. Let me reveal. Oh, you're fine. Uh, no, I, reveal. I thought you were doing that on purpose. Yeah, yeah we thought you were doing that on purpose. They usually tell me really? to let Chad know what the numbers are, so I'm not flubbing them. So there you go. Oh, really yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Gray. Gray has watched another man get deleted from existence. Um. <laughs> so she's just gonna she's gonna uh reload she's got i think she reloaded earlier but i can't remember um as her last action but i genuinely can't remember uh it's just in case we're gonna we're gonna do it again um and we're going to shoot a croc again you hit with a hit with a hit for a total oh. of 30. uh we're gonna roll that damage and we're gonna oh, 16 16 points of damage and uh after that gonna scoot up over towards beetle reloading me just i'm done <laughs> just, just ducks behind covers like reloading the <laughs> tactical she did, she, she did a tactical roll she just <laughs> <laughs> all right with that the word eater let's see let's see what i can do with you ah there Ah, gotcha. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. We're just gonna step, step right behind Hart. Oh, God. Oh, and no. And try to tap Hart on the side. Let's oh, see. No. Or actually, we'll come here. We'll stand here. And here. <gasps> as it targets Beetle. Ah, oh, fuck. And no. cast Magic Missile. For, no! for two actions. Oh, my boy! Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Four on the ah, D4, three on the ah, D4. Shit. That is ah, nine. Shit. Eight. Ah. Beetle, ah. you are now at dying one. You can click that on your character sheet there. Just left click, it'll put you there. Okay. Shit. Yeah, Beetle bends over, he pulls out his little med kit, and he's about to slap on some band-aids, and he just, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the spotter will look at you, Hart, and try to take a shot at you. Oh, that's right, I've got... <laughs> Did you just get yoinked over there? Did he get yoinked? Yeah, he's supposed to be there. Uh, he will hit you, actually. Uh, 25, because your AC is 24. And he'll deal six points of damage to you, Hart. He'll try to reload and shoot again, missing on the second shot. He's like, just die, all of you. Just die. Hart, it's your go. Yeah, uh, I wish to break free from uh, from the grapple attempt. I want attempt. to break free. Um... Absolutely, it, that is the escape yeah. action. Yes, I wish to perform the escape action. Uh, do I target Croc for that and then use escape? Yeah, so you can attempt an acrobatics or athletics check instead of using yes. your tech modifier if you choose. Yes. Uh, or your uh, unarmed I, attack modifier. 
I would like to perform with my athletics. It's my highest check. Uh, so, um, okay. Uh, sadly, uh, Foundry stated that uh, modifier dot test is not a function. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna roll... delete it. For some reason, don't have it on arm strike. Thing. Yeah. Um, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my athletic check uh, against. See if the check thing mod. works. Click that. See if that does anything. Uh, check. Uh, modifier dot test is not a function. Sadly. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's weird because if anyone is the one to utilize grab, it's like barbarians and monks. So uh, this is kind of weird. But I'm I'm gonna roll a straight up athletics in that case. If that is all right with you, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I roll a six for a total of twenty-seven. Uh, and if you do that, you have to beat his fortitude, I think. Uh, it is against the DC of the effect. DC uh, of the effect. So that is his uh, athletics DC, I think. Uh, good thing the numbers are similar. Uh, you beat it. You're out. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, so he he breaks out of uh, Croc's grab, uh, and uh, in a spinning action, he's gonna turn around. And uh, for a glimpse of a moment, uh, this wizard, this word eater behind him, sees Hark's eyes as um, this is the guy that shot his bro and downed him. Uh, I'm going to flurry of blows him. I don't care if it's a penalty at this yeah. point. <laughs> uh, but before then, uh, that is a demoralize uh, on this duder. Uh, I will use my intimidation to to demoralize the funny guy. Yeah, one action to get out. Another action to demoralize. That's that'll, a critical successor. That'll do it. This thing is uh, scared of you. Yeah. Uh, and Hart wishes to attempt to neck snap him. <laughs> Just... uh, I rolled a 14, uh, which is a hit. That'll uh, hit it. Yeah. Uh, First damage is 21. Yeah, 21. Just, whoo, kabam. And as you notice, as you're like, whoo, 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 you're hitting stuff. You notice you're a lot more in tune with your new fiery gift. And as you're punching him, roll me 1d4. Uh, yes, sir. I rolled a three. You add three additional fire damage. And, boosh, 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 and as you're swinging your fist, you notice fiery trails are happening. It is red hot punching. Do, 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 do. And uh, so it'll take I... all of that. Ah, not nice. You, you, you do be clicking it. Uh, and then the second attack arrives. And it is sadly a critical miss. Uh, but it's not a one, which is enough. Yeah, oh yeah, Hark just lot. turns around and slaps this guy and stares at him. This is the guy that downed his bro. He's gonna die. <laughs> Kaleem, it's your go. I will actually target the uh, word eater and I will cast a spell, a uh, level, a uh, fourth level spell that I just got called Call the Blood. And oh. I will need, um, I, let me, I need uh, the word eater to make me a uh, DC 23 basic fortitude save. Sure will. I'm gonna do this. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Eventually, there it goes. <laughs> it critically fails. All right. Oh. And so, as it critically fails, um, what will actually happen is, uh, as uh, Hart is uh, pounding this dude into hamburger meat, and he is still standing, uh. He will actually start to scream, and what looks like parts of his soul start to pour out of his eyes, nose, mouth, and ears, and it will swirl past Hart, past Croc, and it will start to fly into Talim's mouth as he literally Holy sucks the life force shit. out of this man. And, oh, uh, oh my god! Four. Yeah, it is 8d4. 21. 21 negative energy damage. Gone. And as that happens, 
uh, Talim will seem to become more solid because of it, and he will actually quickly raise his shield. And because I am now quickened one, oh. I have another action that I can use, and I will use that to strike Croc. Yeah, go ahead. Get his butt. Strike him. Strike him. Strike Beetle's him, on the, Beetle's like on the ground. Strike Beetle's him. like on the ground. Destroy Beetle's like on the him as you must. Beetle's on the ground, just like dying. Just kill him. And I will. I will uh, re-roll that with uh, the uh, the singular hero point that I have. Yeah. Uh, My fighter wish. Kill him. Oh, it was. Oh, that's oh, a are you serious? One. No. No. <laughs> well, Chad, it looks like we need more hero points. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. I think it's got high on one. my own supply. <laughs> it somehow two, got two, worse. One. Yeah, it somehow got worse. I'm going to take this from Portal Jumper. Thank you, Portal Jumper 339, for this complication. Uh, call Tyrant's Guild Advance for Marksmanship Academy graduate. Uh, let's just say yeah. that, you know, you remember your bad days and the, uh, you're not really a tyrant skill person, but you're just like, uh-oh. <laughs> you remember you had a flashback of the times when you were trying to learn how to shoot things and it didn't go well. You managed to so horribly miss with whatever weapon or spell you were attempting to hit that, or hit with that you somehow managed to indirectly aid your opponent. The character hits something within the environment that is within range of the weapon they are using or spell they are casting that gives them a benefit to the enemies they are fighting. And I'm sure it goes further on. We only have so much room, but thank you so much, the Polo Jumper, for that complication. Just make me flat foot then. Uh, I want something terrible. Oh! Hey, Chad. Oh. What's something horrible I can do in this situation that will help out Croc and mess them out? What, what, what can I do? Give me some ideas. Can you give me give me a little something? The crates are full of bees. <laughs> and Vina, <laughs> smile. No, it, leave Vina it alone. It doesn't have that far of a range. Yeah, like shoot, bill, drop crates on them. My uh, my sword has a ten foot range, but I'm currently using it as a five foot mode. So yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. 360 tailspin, owls, centiline phone, good old bone snapping. Hear me out, chat. It could hit me. That's a bad fucking thing to happen because Talim is really scary when he's in his stance. All right, so I want to take something that, uh, as much as I want the crates to explode and do fireball damage, uh, I'm going to have it oh. to where, like, you stumbled on Croc or so, which had him do a force movement back, which he'll basically five step this way. Pretty much spatial like, like you basically just knock him down or so. So advantageous wise, that'll be your critical uh oh of moving him that way. Beetle, it is now your turn. What must I do? So because when you die, basically you go down, you get put into the top of the initiative or top of the thing that killed you. Um yeah. you need to roll me that little dice thing next to the dying condition on your character sheet. That is your basically you just doing a recovery check. We're gonna see ah. if you stabilize or not. Uh, okay. Roll that for me. Oh, I thought you it was the additional one. dying value, which I will add to you. You're now at dying too. Okie dokie. And that's cool. your roll. Oh. Now it's Croc's turn. He looks at you, Heart, and he got and he and he looks at you and he's devious. Oh, he's devious. Oh, he's, he's hearing, fucking devious. Oh, he he's he smiles at you, Heart and he doesn't. goes, <laughs> and he prepares his gun, and he goes, "If I'm gonna go down, I'm at least taking one of y'all with me." And he aims at Beetle and shoots. <gasps> oh my god! You can't do that. He sure can. <laughs> <laughs> Hit. Natural 20. He got 20! He can't do that. He sure can. I can't can. believe we Croc he just helped did. us cure the rock. Is the rock cured? <laughs> Is the blacksmith better? 
He aims at Beetle. Bam! You're at dying four and you die, Beetle. Beetle dies. Beetle straight up dies. Because critically hitting someone down advances it the dying value by two. Yep, bullet goes into him and, and now it's his turn to experience what being a fine mist in places is like. He and he, his laughed. last moment of Go consciousness, he, he processes that. He's like, oh, so that's what that's like. And then he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he cackles. He laughs at you, heart. <laughs> and is it at you, Harp? <laughs> yeah, uh, Harp has his, his back turned towards Croc at this point. If you want to flat foot the Mew or anything, it's up to you. All right, I'll take it. He'll yeah. flat foot you. Yeah, he uh, fucking stares at Beetle. And he will aim at the back of your head and poof, basically he reloads and fires it for context. Um, he will shoot at you. He will still miss, but I will villain point it. Actually, no, wait, no, that should probably still hit you. It does. I keep forgetting that thing's broken. He does hit you. Uh, even with MVP minus five, and he does 15 points of damage to you. Gray. Black Liquid just pulls down his face as he stares at Beetle. No heart! Kill him! I mean... Dead noises! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Gray has been standing next to Beetle and she, like, my my initial goal was to try and help stabilize him. And so that got basically just ripped away uh, right in front of her. Um, She's going to bristle and lunge at Croc to basically go for his throat and bite at him. So move up here and we're going to do the bitey bite. All right, let's see it. Yes, please. I hit with a total of 28. You hit. And damage is going to be... 17. Bad. You're getting all in there. You're you're getting at his throat. And I'm just going to try one more time. I have one final attempt. Please, 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 please. I failed. It was a critical miss. Oh! With a 12. Oh, no. That's it for me. Mm. Oh, no. I ain't got a hero point for this. This is scary. <laughs> One of the spotters uh, like, looks at the corpse of Beetle. Go, we got one of them. We got one of those evil looking things. Oh, God, it's weird. Ugh. And then looks at the <laughs> heart and fires. <laughs> It will not hit on a not 23 because Heart Sting is 26. Do a reload and try to fire again. Natural one on their side. <laughs> Heart, it's your go. Uh, I, I I don't care. I'm walking over to Beetle. No! He'll take an attack of opportunity no! on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh, I'm flat footed. No! I'm going to villain point that. Oh my god! I uh, mean... Actually, no, I don't have to. That's right. This you don't have thing, to. God damn it. <laughs> you the thing's you can if, if, you, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get you for 10 points of damage. Yeah. There you go. Now, now you can move. You're good. Uh, and he moves up to Beetle and he goes... Bro? And he kneels down and just puts a hand on Beetle, and Beetle doesn't move back. And uh, the hole in the back of his head is just leaking black liquid onto his face. And so he's staring down at Beetle. That's my turn. Okay. Goes right back. Talim. Uh, Talim is like, looks over and like looks at Hart just walking over. And he like turns back to Croc. <laughs> and he <laughs> drops his shield and runs his hand uh, along the blade of that of his ass coil. I'm gonna spend my first action to recharge my spell strike. And then I am going to spend 
my second action to spell strike with magnetic acceleration uh targeting croc uh, let's see it and the samurai quick draw the samurai quick draw and did i i fucking missed and i ain't got a hero point Yeah, and, that was, and that's a two-action thing. So unfortunately, yeah. nope. Uh, yeah, I'm one quicken for one minute, so I still got a second attack I can do. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Damn right, baby. And so I'll roll with uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, still missed. with a sixteen. Basically, you try so, to stab four kind of thing. Croc does a sigh, kind of like dodge, grabs this ass coil kind of thing and grins at you. Like, <laughs> let's it go. <laughs> so here's my question. If I miss with a spell strike, do I wind up expending the spell? Yes. Uh, yes. I think I, I think I do. Okay, yeah. Uh, Beetle's dead. Anyway, Croc's turn. You can't say it like that. I sure can. <laughs> I have to keep myself muted from screaming. <laughs> Croc. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Wait, okay. If I remember right, I think at this point, Frightened's gone. Let's see. I think it's sad. Spill the sand. Da, 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 da. Easy return. Oh, yeah. Fighting has, should have been gone for a while. That's fine. Anyway. Yeah, he got he got a morale boost. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, he goes to the end of his turn. It goes down by one value. Um, he will look. He'll basically look over at Gray and go. He <laughs> 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 tries to bite you. Oh, boy. Let's see. Actually, no, he'll he'll still claw into you, actually. Oh, I don't like that. Oh no. I don't like that at all. Oh, oh hey, no. I got another van point. Thanks, chat. No! <laughs> oh, oh, that's a crit. <laughs> not a, not a uh, 20 on the die crit, but it's 10 over your AC crit. Crack a boom. 26 points of damage God, to Gray. Oh, fuck. Damn. And since it's his claws, he's going to go at you again. Thankfully, it's agile. I'm going to spend the other villain point Jack gave me. Thank you on that why, one. Why? Why? Why do you hate me? And that will do it for 29. Oh. Uh, he'll hit you for another 11. He just clawed into you. Just goosh, goosh, goosh. Oh, hit my own mic. I was trying to emulate. Goosh, 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 goosh. <laughs> and uh, that's one, two. And he's going to try to get you for one more. Uh, did he reload? Like, look, he fired. Shouldn't. Now he's going to reload his uh, gun for his last action. Gray, it's your go. Gray's going to back off. She's going to like just ma make herself get as far away as possible right now. Okay. Um, uh, so, so let you know, he, mm -hmm. as you've noticed, he has a tech of opportunity. That means he gets a free smack at you. Okay. Okay. Um, smack, so wait. there's two things you can do. You can do a You can do a step, which means you can step once and then for another action, move away. If you want to protect yourself. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, so you, do, you go up one. That's one action. And then you can do the rest of your movement for another action. Okay. We're just going to get back here. So he doesn't get you. Um, yeah. Uh, and then she's going to uh, take out the crossbow and hit him from there. And then that'll be it. So. Ooh, I missed. No. He swats it away. 23. He's so no. damn confident. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> This one, this one guy looks over. Vina has taken out two of the guys so far. And it's just like, ching, 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 just doing stuff. Uh, the other guy will look down at Talim. Actually, he kind of, he goes for blood. He sees heart. Takes a shot because all he can kind of see from his cover. Hits. Yes. Seven points of damage to heart. We'll try to reload and fire again. Uh, we'll not hit. Or with a 20, and that's his turn. Heart, it is your go. And uh, he picks up Beetle. You pick up Beetle. Eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Eats corpse. It's, it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Eat him for strength. Eat him for power. Uh... 
he uh, he does the only actual thing that he knows he can do uh, in terms of like sustainability. He he never learned how to tend to someone else. He only learned how to tend to himself. Uh, he will cast wholeness of body onto himself, uh, hoping that somehow this uh, this uh, ability can restore something in Beetle, which it won't. You uh, made me cry. Uh, oh. uh, it will heal heart for twenty four hit points, uh, and uh, boop, and uh, it doesn't work, so he does it again. Uh, and uh, then uh, it doesn't work, obviously. It, it heals for the same amount. No! Uh, and and uh, nothing is happening. Uh, Harp feels powerless and weak, and he doesn't know what to do. Uh, the person who typically goes, oh, you, you, you hit my body, I'm gonna kill you! And the person whose entire thing, since he met these people, went from being, ah, I can kill anyone, into going, I can defend my friends from anyone, has now failed at both. And he doesn't know what to do. That's my turn. Uh... I'm crying, what the frick? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I'm, a full, I'm at full okay. HP. But that's about it. Talim. I'm no longer bleeding my brain out of my head. Yeah. Clock looks at you and go like, well, it seems only got two dead people here. Kind of like whoosh, his jacket or so, the, the tail end kind of whoosh, kind of flies out, gets his claws up a little bit at you going, come on, dead boy. Let's see if you still remember how to dance. Talim is all fury and uh, magic at the moment. He is, uh, the, the shield is to the side. He is channeling uh, everything he can into the blade and uh, he will spend his first action to recharge his spell strike and uh, swing out at Croc with the whip-like blade uh, again with a, uh, with a chill touch um, spell strike. And I had to actually reload my browser because it's, just, it's yeah. chugging. Um, you hit. And so, yeah, that is a hit. And so we rolled the damage for that, which is a 18, uh, 18 slashing damage. Right into the and <laughs> Then uh, the damage for chill touch, which is 44 uh, plus four negative energy damage. Um, which is a total of 17 negative energy damage. And you must make a basic fortitude save uh, for me. And if you don't, you're in, uh, you're in feeble on a critical failure. He's just fine. Okie dokie. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> you rolled a 30 and the DC yeah. was 23 for chat. Yep. Is that it? That is, oh, and um, then I will use my second attack uh, to uh, attack him with the Aspo Coil again because I am quickened. You sure are. Yep. Yeah. So we'll roll an 11 on that. And that is a uh, critical miss. Aww. Yeah. The dice are just God, so the mean. The dice fucking hate us. <laughs> no, they loved Beetle. Yeah. But oh, it's not a, but it's not a one. <laughs> it's not a one. Yeah. <laughs> pour one out for Beetle, please. Everyone in chat, pour yeah. one out for Beetle. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, the total of, uh, uh, a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. So it's going to be funny. Like, There's going to be like so 36. many people in the comments yelling at uh, Froggy saying you could have used one of your hero points to get right back up. And no, Froggy could even have moved and healed as one action due to uh, being the medic archetype and having, um, what is it called, uh, Doctor's Visitation as a feat. So like, move one and, and okay. have a medicine on themselves. And it's okay. This is fun story-wise. Uh, yeah. It's I'm awesome. I'm not mad about it. That was a really badass way to fucking go. I feel great. Except <laughs> yeah. for it's making yeah. me cry. Yeah, Beetle's dead. <laughs> uh, Croc kind of gets dead. up, uh, kind of just looks at you, Salim. 
dead in the face. You see, he is beaten, brutalized, everything else. And he looks down at you and going like, or our little dance ends. Just tell me something. How's death? Never done it before. I'd like to know what I'm getting into. Lean just like looks up at Croc and it is just the rage uh, of of the vengeful dead. It like it is it, there is no humanity there. And uh he's just like every moment is suffering. I think it's well deserved for you. He, he smiles and looks down and goes, I'm glad that's where I sent your friend. Let me find him. <laughs> and he will, he will get at you. He'll, uh, Fuck. he'll a crawl into his mouth, a crawl into his mouth, a stab him from the inside. I, <laughs> he's going to look at you. Look at Gray, who knows he's been wounded already. Pow, gun. Oh. Hits. 15 points of damage. Ow. So he walked up, fired, and will then do his second attack to you, Talim. See if he gets something out of it. And he will. He will hit you for it. Do I have a... I don't have a villain player. I was going to fish for a 20. And uh, he will try to... And he'll claw into you. And it's, and it's like... Just like your ectoplasm and everything else, just basically just shred it out. And as he looks down, and he looks down at you going, it's going to be just a little farewell gift from me to y'all. Just remember, when I pass, I'll try to see how good all, how your little friend's doing as I'm passing by. See if I can do a little more harm. <laughs> Gray, it's your turn. Gray is kind of just struggling to keep her crossbow upright at this point, but she's still going to try and take a shot at Croc, especially while he's having his little gloating session. So you're just going to roll, baby, roll. I missed. No. No hero points either. No hero points, so we're gonna try and shoot again with the negative five, baby. And I missed again with, so first one was 19, this is 17. I missed both times. Yeah. I'm gonna just lay the, there. <laughs> and you had the reload. Yep, so I'm all done. Yeah, this spotter will, uh, really it's like, <laughs> he'll turn around and basically try to help out his friends with Vina, who has killed two more of them. Heart, it's your turn. Uh, Heart adds Beetle to his equipment list as he's now dead <laughs> and an item. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Bing, 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 beetle acquired. <laughs> beetle X1. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he uh, he has taken off his belt, basically. Well, not his belt, but uh, the cloth uh, around his belt that is just there for stylish, stylish reasons. He has taken that and basically just a uh, cradle beetle into it and has retight fastened it at his waist. Uh, he will. Uh, I don't care if I take a um, attack of opportunity from yeah. this, but uh, heart will move over here behind croc um and uh, in his head he hears uh beetles funny little words uh like uh you know block left jab um distract yeah, device, device a strategy let's uh, go and then i will flurry of blows uh, yeah. against this or man. Just, he'll Except, take the if, attack of opportunity first. Of course, of course. Do it. Do I have any villain? No, no villain points yet. He nope. uh, he will not hit you. 
yeah. So thematically, in that case, if he uh, if he bites out, Hart will just swipe his head to the side. Uh, you know how you do with actual biting animals. You just put a hand on like their nose and tilt it like once as he hears Beetle's little guiding words that he said in session zero when he said the funny discombobulate for the first time. Uh, Hart will flurry of blows this man, except he will thematically do it in one single strike with one finger towards uh, like the underside of his throat. Uh, to emulate beetles, crossbow, and gun shooting techniques. I'm gonna I'm gonna combine this for a more narrative roleplay moment. Talim, okay. I'll yeah. allow you to also attack. How do you want to do that? Uh, Liam will actually, um, you know, he, as he uh, sees him uh, sees Croc lunge out at a uh, lunge out at Heart, and uh, Heart dodges it. Uh, and Hart goes to uh, take a strike uh, at Croc. Uh, Talim will actually whip his ass coil out and try to um, tie up uh, the, the, or not tie up, but basically wrap it around the snout of Croc uh, to basically yank his head black, uh, back and simultaneously slap us up his face to give Hart a, uh, a clear shot. Both of you roll me in a, your attacks. Heck yeah. <gasps> Come on, guys! I rolled a six for a total of twenty-two, which is amazing. What is happening? I rolled a, a, a ass, <laughs> but I, I, I did say I do a flare of blows, which allows me for one second attack. Yeah, let's see it. That's, That's an eighteen a for a total of twenty-nine. That's a hit. Uh, as they are like wrestling and just tugging at. Uh, this massive mountain of a creature uh, until Hart gets the angle. And he does for 12 damage. With the fiery strikes that Hart deals. Oh, yeah. And narratively, as much as the hold in the face doesn't stay completely, Croc tries to, tries to turn away. The rascal just ripping his face up a little bit. He tries to come down, tries to get a bite on Hart after one of its misses. Hart comes in, whoosh, and with a fiery strike. At 1d4. Croc falls. Uh, Hart's <sighs> hand, he realizes that the perfect angle will not come uh, the uh, and everything. So he does aim for the one vital point that is available to him when Croc bites at him. So he just shoves his entire hand, two fingers facing forward, through his mouth and through Croc's skull from the inside of his mouth. And then pulls it out. Oh, and he what? says, and he just says, discombobulate. <laughs> yeah! Oh my God. Of course, it now leaves us with a scene. Lena comes down the stairs to see her friends all together on a fallen beetle. Created like a fucking baby, a long heart, little belt. Lena looks at Beetle, looks at Hearts, Salim Gray. I I tried to get here as quick as I could. I just you're see, fine. See, Vina starts tearing up, seeing Beetle. You're fine. You're fine. Hart is just, he has a pitch black, just liquid draining from his entire shoulders and half of his face from his own brain as he stares at Vina. No, it's fine. Go talk to your friend. He, he doesn't have much time. Vina nods and pitter patters quickly uh, to the giant, leaving you all with the corpse of Beetle. Uh, Hart will walk over to Grey rather than having Grey walk over to them. I was just going to say she was going to limp on over. Grey's going to gently take Beetle into her arms. Mm -hmm. 
she's she's humming and she's trying so hard not to cry. She's trying so hard. She runs her hand over his face. Make sure that his eyes are closed. Hardy's crying as fuck. Hardy's just bawling. Not loudly. He he's just staring upward uh, and just having tears run down his entire face. As you know, his shin squiggles, you know, like people trying not to open their mouth when they cry. My face when I'm crying is fuck. We will meet again. One day. One day. She just gives him a little kiss on his forehead and hands him back over to Hart. Hart tugs, uh, tucks Beetle back onto his belt side. Don't be here, buddy. You're not heavy. You're my brother. You won't be a burden. He never was. Okay, we'll walk away and head over towards Talim to check on him. <laughs> Talim just uh, looks over at, you know, in holding Beetle and uh, kind of just, you know, shakes any matter off the sword and he puts it back in the sheath and he goes to unbuckles the shield from his arm and kind of like holds it in front of him and he looks down at it and he looks back up at Beetle and he's worthless and he just throws it and uh, he turns away from both of them uh, and he is notably ragged notably transparent uh, looking every bit as dead as he is and he says nothing I want to leave can we leave I think we can leave I'm going to check on Vino you two, I'll be there. Huh. You go to check on Vina, and you see that she is kind of like petting the head of the giant who has now passed. So she is having her loss now, and uh, she looks to you and says like, at least I got to say goodbye. You did. And we told him that you loved him very much. He knew that you were here. She snuffles and uh, looks to you and says, should probably go now. Yeah. Take your time. She... Say your goodbyes. She looks over to the top right where you can see uh, along with this cave, there seems to be a passageway that you guys could use to leave instead of going up back through Croc's den. She will motion to you all saying, we could, we could try to escape that way. Uh, they won't know that we're down here. And when the rest of the members come down, uh, hopefully we won't be here. We should go. Gray kind of looks back up towards where the stairs is, and she has a moment where she thinks that maybe she should say goodbye. She doesn't know if her attempt earlier worked to try and get Morla, but she can't risk it. So she'll call them over and follow up Vina. Selim will um, look at Vina and uh, Gray. Uh, as they go and look at Hart and uh, they'll look back down at the shield on the ground and he'll float over and he'll uh, he'll pick it up he'll take Beetle home and uh, he will open a hand and uh, 
a flame will produce and he's like I will clean up here Talim there's I will burn it all please I my daughter's up there I will make sure they leave but Grog's but... legacy dies with him thank you we'll see you back home So we like telling him to go up the stairs and like a fiery ghost of vengeance just <laughs> to start setting yeah. a flame. Uh, he's, he's gonna like basically cut off Croc's head. And he's got Croc's head in one hand and just fire in the other. What does he scream when he haunts the building one final time? It is just violent specter screams. It is inhuman. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> just basically like, <laughs> the entire way yeah like if any of the game comes near him he just yeah <laughs> points towards the nearest door screams so let's set the scene to try to cap everything together yeah Talim allow it to add some flair or readjust me if needed you head up to the entire right. gambling den a ghost of vengeance it set it all aflame. The you don't kill any residents, but you destroy the building. And so, and of course, there was a vault full of money that yeah. stays intact. Um, but you know that when Croc's body, as you loot him, you find a key that will open it, and you find that there's a lot of money there. I just assume you want to keep it the vault safe because you think it'll survive the fire. You keep yeah. that nicely locked. Yeah. You basically just burn the entire place. Sorry, go ahead and add some flare. My bad. I was going to say, like, Talim, you know, like, as people go running out and he is all flame and fury and spectral rage, um, he just screams. He screams and he heaves and he rages and he destroys everything he can come across and uh, after he's outside he just sits there he just floats there and he watches it burn it's gonna become a fucking just a local legend of a screaming burning ghost with a crocodile skull in its hand hearts gray and the before beetle along with Vina. Vina leads you through the uh, the cavern tunnels, which will eventually link up to a sewer system. Um, she seems to know her way around, and she leads you all back to the surface and to where she can eventually link up with Talim hours upon hours later, now seeing the smoldering remains of Croc's den. They look at Talim, and I tell him, I assume you join the rest of the party after watching the entire thing burn and your assets safe to return yeah. back to Elma's. All toting beetle along the way. But beetle, you're somewhere else. You're somewhere different. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're somewhere completely different. You're, you're somewhere completely different. I can't believe Beetle got isekai'd by gun violence. <laughs> <laughs> I can. You're you seeing, could say that pistol hit like a truck. You're seeing <laughs> things sponsor. You're, you're basically seeing things basically pass by you. Uh, stars as if the world's passing by. You feel as if you're done. You had a good run. It. Live, the, your life has flashed before your eyes, and so, and as if everything has stopped, something appears before you, and we'll see what that is next time on Raccoons. You fuck! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, thank God. I've been sitting here bawling my eyes out. I was like, if I have to hop back in character, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> like, I can't sleep. A god approaches her. I kill it. <laughs> stab it in the, I stab it in the goose. <laughs> and now it's ankles off. <laughs> I can't believe Beetle was the stru stru <laughs> the true spirit of vengeance the entire time. <laughs> uh, hey, chat, did you like all of the trauma? Oh, we I sure liked all of the trauma. We have we had a good trauma session. That was great. Yeah, it was a now, really long Soren, session. Yes. How long is it until we are going to play Rot Goons again? It's going to be some time. Uh, not to really date the episode, but for people watching this Crown of Galactic or whatever, uh, it'll be till November. So right now it's like October 7th right now. So o November, beginning of November is the next episode because we, we're going to a con. There's other Rock Ryan episodes coming stuff like that. It's a good long while. Yeah. <laughs> Smiles. Smiles. Because <laughs> I'm an evil bastard. There's the camera. Um, but yeah, but that gives me time to set up a whole bunch of stuff and everything. Uh, but... Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Either you're listening on YouTube, podcast, watching us live on Twitch, which we greatly appreciate it. Love seeing chat here. And because all chats, reactions and things like that give us energy. It's really fun to have people. Oh, with it's us. so fun. It's really yeah. nice. Um, regardless of that, though, I want to remind you all of the amazing people that bring you rock in, starting off with Minerva. That's me. I'm Minerva and I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can find me over on Twitch and Twitter and all sorts of socials under Party Demon S. Uh, yeah, it's I. This was a good good session. Good session. Thank you for making me cry. And of course, we have our caffeinated cult leader Cabal. Hi, I'm Cabal, your favorite purple caffeinated cult leader, hooded horror host, also voice actor, artist. All these things you find me on YouTube.com forward slash Cabal, which is where I'll be making my haunted home after the end of October. And of course, we have our risen dead guy, Froggy Lock. <laughs> Good time zone. I'm Froggy Lock. As mentioned, uh, I'm a professional artist, live TV rigger, and a variety streamer on Twitch, but you can find me everywhere else under the same name. And uh, next time, I'll be playing something. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Be dead, Zobob. <laughs> Speaking of dead, Zobob, we have, we have Salty Job. That's me. That's me. Uh, I'm Schnauty Schnob. Uh, support Soren and Cabal, and you will automatically support me. Uh, you can find me at Salty Job on Twitter, uh, and I will be doing some funny. You will see my work over at Cabal Stuff and over here at Narrative Declaration. And of course, I have been your host and game master for this evening. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'm I hope you guys had a fantastic time. And we will see you next time on game Master for the Evening. And what a game it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. But, of course, we'll see you all next time. Thank you all so much. Please safe out there. And remember, uh, patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration to support the show. Stay safe, everyone. Goodbye. Please go support. We appreciate you. Bye. Bye.